Hey guys! So I wanted to just sit down and do a bit of an introduction to the video that I've got for you today. Last week in the weekly vlog I said that I went wedding dress shopping, which is still quite surreal to me that I actually have my wedding dress. I bought a wedding dress. Um, it's still quite surreal that I'm even engaged and we're planning a wedding, but it is now beginning to kind of feel more real now that I have the dress. Uh, we've sent out our save the date cards. There's still a few up on my desk that need to be sent But we're in the swing of it getting through the to-do list and it's starting to feel real and very exciting I've never been the kind of girl that has really thought much about her wedding. So when I got engaged that was really exciting But then it occurred to me I have to start planning a wedding and I had no idea where to start. It felt very surreal I'd never really thought about planning a wedding before and had no idea where to start. It's a massive event, but is it only massive because we make it a big deal? You know, it, it is about two people joining together in marriage, two families coming together. But on top of that, we come from different places, so I wanted it to be a cultural event. So we don't really have an idea of what kind of Icelandic customs and traditions are. Um, if you do know of any, please comment down below or send me an email and we can start discussing them. I would really be grateful of your help. Um, I know of lots in Scotland, um, but the other issue is that because I've been living in India, I have actually been to more Indian weddings than I have Western weddings. So without going on too much about the wedding details and the plans and everything that's going to happen in the next few months, hopefully, I'm going to get straight into this video. Hi guys! It is Thursday and today Mum and I are heading down to some uh, bridal shops. We're looking for wedding dresses, we're on the hunt and we're doing I think two today. See how we get on and then maybe going through to Glasgow tomorrow. Is this today I am going with my mum to try on some wedding dresses. So we started off in Edinburgh. Now Edinburgh is my home city, it's where I come from, but I do know that it can be quite snobbish sometimes, and that was definitely what we experienced from the boutiques that we went to. Um, this might not be what happens in every boutique that you go to, so obviously I'm putting that out there. This was my experience. So I took my mum with me. Now mums are probably the best at um, knowing what suits you and knowing what's going to work best for you. I can tell definitely by her facial expression what works on me or not. Um, but also I wanted to share this, this moment with her because obviously, hopefully, I'm only going to do this once. Um, but it's really special to have my mum there with me. I, I would have liked to have my sister there but it just didn't really work out. I also didn't want to make it a big Deal. I didn't want it to be a kind of big event going off with my bridesmaids and you know you see in the movies that <laughs> the films that you maybe arrive in these boutiques and are met with champagne and it was definitely not like that. <laughs> so the first boutique that we went to um, the sales assistant or I don't know maybe she was the owner when we walked in she didn't even get up from her desk she spoke to us asked us asked us if we had an appointment I said no we were just having a little look she said there was an appointment free in 15 minutes and that we could go downstairs and just have a look anyway we were just kind of left there to have a look at the different dresses which was great because we had the entire place to ourselves we were met by I don't know hundreds of dresses downstairs and I literally didn't know where to start because it was just bombarding. <laughs> when we went back to ask about the appointment, suddenly it just wasn't available and she hadn't told us. And she also sat there with her earphones in the entire time. So I was kind of thinking these dresses cost, you know, £2,000 and upwards. And the assistant wasn't even coming away from her desk to ask if we needed help. 
I just looked at some there, took some photographs and then we basically left the store. Then we headed out of town and we went to our second boutique. Now as we walked past the windows, we saw exactly the dress that we had been looking at. We went into the shop and I said to her, would I be able to try it on? There was a line of, well, something along the lines of, I'll have to see because you're clearly not a sample size. Which I think she meant that just as a direct statement. And that's fine because I am not sample size. Sample size usually in wedding dresses are six, eight, ten. Definitely not a size eight. But I wouldn't say that I'm not a normal girl. <laughs> I'm not exactly a size eight, but I'm not huge either. It's quite a strange line to hear from someone, especially when you're, you know, you're walking into a store full of excitement, ready to spend quite a lot of money on a dress that you're gonna wear once but for one of the most important days of your life. I think you, you can put a lot of pressure on yourself when you hear, you know, the idea of like, you know the one. Well, I knew the one when I met Ingmar and that was quite a surreal moment of just knowing. But we won't go into all that mushy stuff. <laughs> but the dress, I didn't think was going to be as easy as that and it definitely wasn't as easy as that although it wasn't too difficult. Now I've heard from Ingmar that he does not want me to go on some crazy diet or some crazy kind of bridezilla mission to get down to a size 8 and that's great because he is incredibly supportive of me and he loves me for who I am and that's really what you want in a guy. So I don't necessarily have that pressure although you know personally I would like to lose a bit of weight. That's you know, a side point. That evening I looked up some websites and forums. There were a few people there that were saying that Glasgow had a great shop where the assistants were really friendly, the sizes weren't an issue, and that loads of people had found their perfect dress there. I wanted to give it a try. So I looked up the website, it said no appointment necessary, win. Morning guys, it is Friday, it's Steph's birthday, my sister, so happy birthday to her. Um, we are through in Glasgow, it is a grey dull day and we are off wedding dress shopping again. Today we're starting off at Wed to Be, which is um, hopefully going to be a walk-in, find a couple of dresses, find the perfect dress and then get off shopping for the day. This looks like there's a lot to choose from. The manager actually welcomed me at the door offered us a cup of tea or coffee so definitely no champagne. The layout of the store was so much better you could see the dresses they weren't crammed on rails they're they were in clear polythene bags and you could move them around on the rails a lot easier to actually see what the differences were between them all. So she took me over to my size and told me that I should always go for one size above what I normally wear. So I had loads of dresses to choose from I didn't feel like I was some massive person trying to fit into this lovely little white dress. I felt like a normal girl and that was really important to me. She encouraged me to try on as many different styles as I wanted to. I think I tried on 13 dresses and the dress I bought was lucky number 12. I just had lunch um, and throughout lunch we looked at the pictures that we'd taken of me in the dress and I think that is how we've maybe made the decision. I think that I've actually chosen the dress. As soon as I put it on, I just knew that was the dress that I wanted to wear. It's fun, but it is very much a wedding dress. It doesn't show off too much of me. It's definitely a Scottish wedding dress, but there's a little bit of other cultures in it too. So there we go, there's the dress going off to be transported safely back to Edinburgh. So yeah, if there's any seamstresses watching, please get in touch. <laughs> we need to get some fitting done. Now that I have my dress, I love it. I'm so excited to wear it again. And it's really put me in a positive mindset to really get stuck into all this wedding prep. I just wanna say a massive thank you to my mum who came along with me because it was a great support and really lovely to have her with me for a very, very special shopping trip. So if you are a bride watching this video and you're starting to look for your wedding dress, I wanted to share a few tips with you. 
Think about all the different options of actually getting your wedding dress. So it could be second hand, it might be X sample, it might be borrowed from someone. You might get it tailored for you in a different country. You can buy it from a boutique, buy it from a specialist wedding shop, or buy it online. Think about who you want to take with you. You might want to start out on your own, and then maybe bring your mum, and then your sister or best friend. You might want to make a whole weekend out of it. Try on loads of different styles, especially the one you don't think you want. Think about where you're actually going to go shopping. So maybe your city is a great place to start out and kind of get a feel for things, do a bit of research. Also look online as well. So Pinterest is obviously a great place to get information and get inspiration and ideas. Try on a few in different stores and then maybe go to another city or shop online. Take your time. You don't necessarily have to rush into this. Don't feel pressured into anything. You are about to spend quite a lot of money on one dress that you will wear once. Make sure that you are shopping where you feel comfortable. You can feel quite body conscious because, heck, why do we wear white dresses? It's not the most flattering colour. Um, and also some of the mirrors can't be trusted. Make sure you ask about alterations as well. So they might do alterations in store, it might be cheaper to go elsewhere. It depends on your budget and also the time that that takes. You might have to get a couple of fittings done, putting that into your time plan, and also if you don't live in the same country, you'll need to think about your travel. If you are gonna get your dress from one of the wedding boutiques, then you really need to plan this because I did not realize this. It takes six months to order a wedding dress. And when you're in the shop, make sure you've got someone who's taking photographs of you in every single dress, front, side, and back. Make sure that you're wearing good underwear, so <laughs> at least decent pants. Quite often you'll have to take off your bra or top. Try the dress on with heels. Now most shops will have heels for you to try the dress on with. Obviously you need to think about what footwear you're going to be wearing on the day. If you're trying on different styles with different petticoats, also try the dress without the petticoat on and see what it feels like and how different it is because that's an option for the evening. Try veils on. So I obviously never put a veil on before and it feels really strange. I did also try on some accessories like a diamante belt with my dress and I absolutely loved that. I really didn't think that I would want lots of bling on my dress but it was amazing. Definitely try all of these things. So that's everything for this video. If you like this kind of video and want to see any other wedding content, then please let me know because I think it would be really fun to share it and to record it so that I have it for me to look back on. Any advice that you can offer me as well, then I would be really grateful to hear it. So feel free to send me an email or put it in the comments down below. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.